given this diagram, we are told a plot of land is in the shape of a trapezium as shown above. That's how the plot looks like. And we are told to find the perimeter of this field. So these are your options. Which of the options will you go for? Now, just know that this is so easy, even though it is tricky, but I will simplify it. When you talk about perimeter, perimeter means the distance around the shape, the outer part. If you are considering perimeter, you talk about the outside part, okay? So what it means is that for us to calculate perimeter, we don't need this value. What it means also is that for us to get the perimeter, we need to know this length. We need to know this length, which from here to here is 9, from here to here is 13, from here to here is 30. But the problem is, what is from here to this point, we don't know. So this is what we want to find. When we find it, it gives us the perimeter. Now, to find this, what do you do? Observe also that in this diagram, the question did not tell you that this length is the same as this. So in that case, here cannot be 13. I hope you are getting my explanations. Now, what will you do then? So what you need to do is, is there possibility of we finding, just watch, watch. You see that if we can get the value of this length, just watch, if we can get from here to here, with the knowledge, because this has formed right angle here, with the knowledge of our Pythagorean's theorem, we can find this length. But the problem is, how do we find this? We don't know this also. Just look at what you will do. Just observe that the height is always the same because this is the height. So you can drop this line down again from here. Just drop it down. Did you see? So when you do that, this 12 centimeters is also what you have here. 12 meters, sorry. So what it means is that with this knowledge, you can find this tiny length, okay? And when you find it, it will help you to find the rest. So what do we do? Let's bring that out. So this is what we have. Here is 12. This place is 13 meters. And this is what you want to find. Now, when you have this, this is your right triangle. And in your right triangle, you observe we are finding, we are giving the side to find the remaining side. So what you usually use when you have a right triangle and you have two sides to find the third side, you use your Pythagorean say, theorem. And the theorem states that this length is the hypotenuse, the longest, is always opposite to where the angle 90 is formed. So this place becomes your hypotenuse. So the Pythagorean theorem states that the hypotenuse side squared is equal to the square of the two remaining sides, which is the opposite plus the adjacent. I hope you are with me. So to find this, you are going to have, this will be 13 squared is equal to, we don't know this part, so it's O squared plus this is 12 squared. I hope you are with me. 13 squared is 13 multiplied two times, and that will give you 169 is O squared. This is 12 multiplied two times to give us 144. Now, to get this, you need to remove this. It's positive, so you subtract. So we're going to have 169 minus 144 is equal to O squared. So if you subtract this, it gives you what? 25, okay? So to get your O, you need to take the square root of 25. Remember to take only the positive square root because this is side. And when you do that, your opposite side will give you 5 meters. So this part is 5 meters. So go to the diagram. It means we have it as this part is 5 meters. So if here, from here to here is 5, okay, and the total length is 30, you observe also that from this part to this part is 9. It is the same as this. Did you see that? That is the shape of your rectangle. Did you see so here will be the same with this. So from here to this part is also 9 meters. So what do you do to get this tiny length, this part? You just need to add these two together and take it away from 30. So if you do that, you are going to have 30 minus, add these two. So we have 5 plus 9. So we have 30 minus 14, and that will give us 16 meters. So 
this length is 16 meters. So now that you have gotten this place as 16, it will help you to find this using the same Pythagorean eh, theorem. So let's get this now we have. So bringing out this part of the shape, so this is what we have also, okay? It's right angled here. So from here to here, we've seen it's 16 meters and this place is 12 meters. Did you see that? So what do you do? You are going to have it that using the same Pythagorean theorem, this is the part we are looking for and that is the hypotenuse. So we're going to have H squared is 12 squared plus 16 squared and that will give you 144 plus 16 squared gives you 256. So you add this up together, it gives you 400. So to get your edge, like we said, take the positive root, okay? So that will give us, a uh, square root of this gives you 20. So we have this place as 20 meters. You also observe that this length is longer than what you have here. So this is 20, this is 13. Now that you've gotten this length, you can now find the perimeter. And to get the perimeter we have, perimeter of the field will now be from here to here is 9 plus from here to here is 13. From this end to this end is 30, okay? Then finally from here to here is 20. So quickly add this up. This is 22, this is 52, and this is 72. So we have 72 meters as the perimeter. And that is option C. I hope you really learned a lot. Don't forget to share for others to learn with you. Let's know how much also in the comments. And see you in our next class. Bye.